Tisha Amberson. Welcome to this edition of Community Insider. We're backstage here at the Park Theater for a tribute to Patsy Cline. I'm Jeff Barnes and I am excited that Caring Arts United has asked me to be a part of tonight's tribute to Patsy Cline. I will be doing the narrating this evening. If you have not had a chance to hear Beth do Patsy Cline, and she is wonderful, she is spot on, and I know that you're going to enjoy tonight's show. Community Insider is brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Good for life, good for the community. High quality leads with prolific internet marketing and invigorating web design services that will energize your business. We are Sirius SEM. Call today or visit us at SiriusSEM.com. Welcome to another edition of Community Insight. Join us as we travel Middle Tennessee, uncovering history and experiencing the adventure of unique stories and events coming to you inside your community. preparation for this uh, upcoming presentation that we're doing tonight, we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that our God is real. He has done for us so many what we call God weeks. Um, just when things happen, for instance, uh, we had a gentleman that um, just had not seen him in, gosh, I guess two or three years. Uh, and he's a local, but we just didn't run into each other very much. And he had uh, been the one that did my sister, Beth, that's doing the presentation of Patsy Klein. He did her CDs and all for her. So he's very good with soundboards. And he had seen where Beth was going to be doing the Patsy Klein idea here. And he said, I haven't seen you and your husband in a while. I'd like to come and see you. And he said, and if they don't have anybody, he said, I'd be glad to work the soundboard. And we were like, whoa, we wouldn't have, I really wouldn't have ever thought about calling him. Uh, and so our thanks goes to Ken Youngblood for being here to work the sound system for us. And since he knows what he's doing, I just feel a lot more comfortable that it's going to be handled properly. Um, uh, Bruce Agnew was very, very nice. Mr. Jimmy Haley referred me to him because we wanted to make the stage setting to be as authentic as we could for the 1960s Grand Ole Opry stage. So Mr. Haley said, check with Bruce Atney up. He's got a lot of old equipment stuff. So he has uh, provided us some really nice old microphones and the girls are all dressing in their costumes and we have a huge big barn that uh, a friend of mine is Wilma Albrock in um, Woodbury and um, our program director of our organization's husband, Mr. Carl Shoemaker, and myself, we built this barn. And, um, and when I came up here not long ago and looked, I thought, oh, the barn's going to just be swallowed on this big stage. Well, when we got it up here and we got it on the stage, it makes the stage. So if you guys didn't get to come to the presentation, you missed something. I hope that all of you that are watching this say, oh, I was there. <laughs> so, but it's gonna, it's gonna really be good. Now I know that Patsy that day would change my life. No, why would I? But I knew I found a real friend. A proud, proud woman mama. A woman who wasn't afraid to stand up for herself. Turns out we had a lot in common. We were both born in the same year. We grew up poor, 
and we both married difficult husbands. <laughs> Am I right? It's a great feeling knowing so much that we accomplished during the golden country music doors. At that same time, folks said women couldn't sell tickets or records. I guess we showed them. Patsy taught me how to drive, how to shake my legs, and even how to spice up my love life. I will ever be very grateful for all that Patsy did for me personally, for inspiring me and encouraging me with my career. Our friendship became very close and will remain that way through eternity. And now I want to sing to you guys a song that she never got to hear me sing, but I'm pretty sure a majority of you guys have.
She was always so touched and couldn't thank Caring Hearts enough for caring about her and all the others, and especially for the puzzles that would bring her and her granddaughter together. Thank you, Caring Hearts. We love getting letters like that. And I have another one that says, while caring for a patient, I had the privilege to deliver different Caring Heart packages throughout the year. This patient had a wife that got just as excited as he did when we brought the packages. They couldn't wait to see what surprise was waiting for them. They had a system. She always got the candy and he got the package Kleenexes. They would always thank me and tell me to thank everybody at Caring Hearts for everything they've done for him and his wife. He would get tearful every time because he couldn't believe that people he didn't know would do so much for him just to bring a smile. He was one of the patients that the whole staff would race to see who would be the lucky one to get to deliver his package because we all knew how much it meant to him. So for me and my patient and his wife, we simply thank you for all you do for this, these patients. That's our goal, she didn't tell you, is to bring smiles to hospice patients and the letters verify that, that we're making our goal. You know, this is uh, something uh, that I'm looking forward to. I uh, never had a chance to you know, be an announcer on the Grand Ole Opry, so it's like the Grand Ole Opry is being brought to me. So I'm excited about uh, the show tonight and I hope everyone enjoys the show. Everybody has worked hard. And once again, all the proceeds benefits Caring Hearts United, who put smiles on people's faces. So you said it's a dream of yours to be here tonight because it's like being an announcer on the Grand Ole Opry. So tell us about your childhood dream. Uh, how did you become an announcer at the radio station here in McMinnville, Tennessee? Uh, it's something that I, you know, I wanted to be, uh, and I needed a challenge in my life. Uh, another uh, type of a challenge. I was always shy in school, and and uh, this kind of opened it up for me to be, uh, you know, to do, uh, you know, to be on radio, and I like, I like it to, you know, the connection with people. That's the, that's the main thing. Uh, you know, people come up to you, and you know, they like what you do, and of course, you know, you know, if if there's some things that you know that. They don't like, you know. They'll, you know, they'll let you know. But that's the great thing about it. Uh, you know, the, you know, the people are wonderful. And I've been doing this for a lot of years. And I've seen a lot of changes. But the one thing that doesn't change is the, is the people, the relationships you develop over the years. Absolutely fantastic. So, what's your thoughts on Loretta Lynn, Patsy Cline, Dottie West, and Minnie Pearl all on one stage? It's, it's great, and you know, like, and like I said, listening to them in rehearsal, everybody, everybody has worked hard, and you know, they're, they're going to love the show, and it's like, it's like an all-star tribute. Uh, you've, got, you've got ones that are great singers uh, in their own right, and, and, uh, and, they're spot, and they're spot on. You haven't seen the show yet, and I've, we've had a chance to look at them backstage, and uh, they're they're going to be awesome tonight, I know.
Make sure y'all go on back there and get you one now. And I got one more thing I got to tell you all about because I know y'all looking like y'all getting real hungry out there. And we got some good popcorn. You can smell it. And we got candies. We got some Coca-Colas. And we even got some water. But I'm going to tell you, Caring Heart United is a percentage of every little bite that you take. So we want y'all to go out here at halftime and indulge. And remember, while you're back there, anyway, back, get you one of them CDs. I'm about done now. I'm going to have to go on back to that place I'm from, where I can switch that little old town. <laughs> And it's just such an honor to be able to be Minnie Pearl. And I've been trying to work on my southern accent just a little bit. And so tonight I hope it really shines and uh, makes everybody proud to remember Minnie Pearl. She was a wonderful woman. And um, I'm so proud to be a part of Caring Hearts. Uh, I've only lived here for two years and I've just been blessed to be a part of it since I first moved here. So God has been very good to me and my family and my husband. So um, I'm just looking forward to tonight. Uh, being able to say howdy as loud as I can and talk a little bit about everything that we offer here tonight. All of our goodies and refreshments and um, just uh, the percentage that we'll get from the refreshment stand. So um, so proud that all of you could be here. Thanks for coming, y'all. As I said in the beginning, we do assist hospice units and they notify us when there is a need. That way we are not making direct contact with the patients, we're actually working with the nurses. Um, and then five holidays out of the year. This is our specialty, specialty, we really enjoy doing this. Five holidays out of the year, we send out happy packets to all of the patients. They always include something they can use, something they can munch on, something to occupy their time, and something to bring a smile to their faces. It may just be a little trinket of some kind. It's, it's amazing what we get, uh, the notes in the thank you notes that we get back thanking us for brightening their day. Um, those, those little happy packets, when we first began with the one unit that we were servicing, we had 30 uh, happy packets we sent for Christmas that year. Our packets over this 11 years has grown now to 500 plus each holiday. So we, um, we really work hard to keep that funding coming in. We are solely funded through donations, um, through um, the city and the county has helped us and assisted us for that past few years with some of the money that's appropriated for nonprofit units. We work with um, not strictly through donations. Uh, you can do flowers in lieu of flowers. You can do donations at the um, funeral homes and we do our fundraisers and um, that's strictly how we get our funds and God has really been good to bless us. We're always looking for new members. If you're interested, you can get in touch with us. Uh, our phone number is 473-3000. Um, our qualifications for being a new member are 18 years of age. Uh, we accept male and female. Um, you have to have a good morals and you have to have an extremely good, caring, big heart. So it doesn't take much to meet our qualifications, and we would love to have you come and to join us. I think you would truly enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy this evening's tribute to Nancy Klein, and now we're going to turn it over to Beth's sister and co-founder of Caring Hearts United, Diane C.
And we can all probably say, no matter what has happened in our life, God's been good. So listen to this.
night, just about every night through the week. So you'll want to come out and share it with us. And it's a beautiful, beautiful indoor event at the Three Star Mall. And, you know, weather doesn't matter because we can control it in there. Um, we want to remind you your programs. If you take them across the street to Tops, they'll give you a discount on your purchase for coming to see us tonight. And, um, <laughs> Beth's hungry. Um, remember the info booth about our organization back there if you have any questions. Vinny, did you have something to remind about? The song debuted on the Hot Country and Western Sides charts, and by August the 7th, she had sang and had argued and negotiated with her manager on becoming her first to top the country chart. Additionally, it crossed over to the Billboard chart, peaking at number 12 on the pop scene. Now, she will perform the song for us. Here is I Fall to Pieces. <laughs>